Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be telling you guys how much money you're going to need in order to customize and buy all the three hidden lowriders that are going to be coming within the next update. And also talking to you guys about what other content might be coming that might require money for you to purchase. So I was getting Q&A questions the other day and this one got brought up a lot. You know, how much money am I gonna need for the next set of lowriders? Or is the next set of lowriders gonna be really expensive? And I thought I figured I would make a video. I did this for lowriders part two or lowriders customs classics. And you guys really seem to enjoy that video. There was a lot of support on there. And I do this so that you guys can get a better idea of how much cash you're gonna need. So whether that means playing an extra hour a day, trying to take advantage of the double RP money and opportunities, or whether whether that means buying a shark card or something along the lines. I don't care how you get your money in online. I just want you guys to be prepared so that you can enjoy the DLC as best as possible when it does come out. So with this update, there are a few things that we do know for certain. There are going to be three new vehicles, and so far there's going to be an adversary mode. Now with the other video for Lowriders Customs Classics or Lowriders 2, since the content wasn't already in the game and since Rockstar had to add it with an update, we didn't know and I didn't know that there was going to be new clothing or those new weapons. Now I predicted that there was gonna be the two new weapons, but I did not predict the new clothing. And obviously there was, I think there was a total of 120 items. So that would have skewed your price is a little bit. But with this update, we can pretty much predict that it's only going to be the new cars and also the adversary mode. Now the adversary mode isn't gonna cost you anything. It's gonna be free and it's gonna make you money. So we're not gonna include that in this portion of the video. However, what we do know is the prices of the cars that are gonna be coming, those new low riders, as well as their conversion price, and we can kind of take a guess as what their uh, upgrade costs are going to be also. So let's start with the minivan. The Vapid minivan is going to have a default price of $30,000. We know this because one, we've seen it in photos appearing on Benny's site, and we've also seen it on the actual Southern San Andreas Autosports site where it's been there pretty much since the business update. So it's $30,000 and its conversion price is going to be $330,000. So just to buy the vehicle and just to get it upgraded into Benny's is gonna cost you three hundred and sixty thousand dollars so that's pretty pricey but not terrible not certainly not the most expensive one on this list up next we've well, got the tornado custom which has never been featured on a website in game so this is the first time we've seen it being available and it's going to be thirty thousand dollars and its conversion price will be three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars giving us a grand total of four hundred and five thousand dollars just to buy it and just to customize it with that upgrade fee okay so that one's kind of in the middle now we've got the Sabre Turbo Custom, which I've said is the sportiest version of cars we could bring in here. Its default price, and it's never been on a website before, is going to be $15,000, so not bad. That's the cheapest one. However, this is where they get you. The conversion price is $490,000, giving us a grand total of $505,000 just to buy and customize or and get that upgradability of the Sabre Turbo. So if we add all three of those together, that being the Sabre Turbo Custom, Tornado Custom, Minivan Custom, default price and conversion price, that gives us a total of $1,270,000. So that's just to buy and get the upgrade charge for those vehicles. So that's pretty pricey for those three cars. And now from here, we can pretty much play a game of, well, how much are you going to customize? We can imagine and we can confirm all of them are going to relatively have the same upgrades with minor differences. I've stated in videos before that the Tornado has the most, in my opinion, the minivan with the least, but all of them for the most part are gonna have interior options. They're gonna have hydraulics. There's gonna have engine upgrades and tunable. So just to make this easy, I've said that, you know, at a minimum, one would probably spend $500,000 and at a maximum, one would probably spend a million dollars customizing and upgrading these vehicles. So if we went with the absolute minimum of $500,000 for each one, so that would be times three, that would obviously be $1.5 million. And if we add that to our total of $1,270,000, that gives us a total of $2,770,000 as far as a total upgrade fee for all the vehicles. Okay, that's not too bad. However, if you were to go to the maximum range, which I've put at a million dollars, and that's just a rough guess, that would be times three, $3 million, giving us a grand total of 
$4,270,000 as far as our upgrades would go for all of these vehicles. All right, now that is a little pricier. Now, I know that everyone might not be getting everything. In fact, that makes sense for a lot of people. You might not like the minivan. You might love the Sabre Turbo, or you might love the Tornado, but you might hate the minivan, so you're only going to be getting the Tornado and maybe only some pieces of the Sabre Turbo. So that's why I've made this video, and that's why I've broken it down so in depth. So if you only wanted to do one of the vehicles, then take my price of $2,770,000 and you know divide that or multiply it by point. And you would ultimately get your total right there. And you could do the exact same thing if you only wanted two vehicles. Also, just multiply my final total by, you know, 0.66 or whatever the case might be. So overall, do I think this is going to be a relatively expensive update compared to the first installment of Lowriders, the original one we saw back in October, or Lowriders Customs Classics? No, but that's just by default because this one we just recently got obviously has two new weapons and all sorts of clothing. I don't think we're going to be getting any, any new weapons, any new clothing with this new update i think it's just going to be the cars and the adversary mode but from what i've seen so far i am so hyped for all the vehicles i think they're going to be incredible i think they're going to be so much fun especially the tornado i'm telling you guys i might be overhyping the tornado but from what i've seen so far and what i've experienced personally customizing it it is so much fun it is a blast so i think i'm looking forward to that one the most so bottom line is this update going to be expensive you know anywhere from two million to five million dollars for some of you that might be a lot for some of you that might not be a lot at all but the good news is we've got this awesome event week going on right now that's giving you double money and rp opportunities so at least rockstar is giving you the chance to make money so that you can eventually spend it i'm guessing on those new low riders so let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below which low riders are you going to be buying are you going to be buying all three just the tornado just the minivan just the saber turbo let me know in the comment section down below if you did go on to enjoy the video a like rating would of course be awesome and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new or you like daily gta 5 videos like this without the way guys like i said thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video